Hello everyone. Welcome back to Worm Unlimited. Still winter. And the trees look pretty. Well, I said I was going to go around and put up hedges for my deed. Um, I did do that, as you can tell. I did it all the way around, except for the areas where I am going to put a fence Iron, iron fence gate so I got it all the way around took a lot of sprouts but I got it so next I have to do is come over here and fill this in this area here and then finish putting up the uh, edges so right now we will go over and start making uh, stone pens for the horses. Now, normally I would start at the end and work my way over, but seeing that I have the mine right here, we could start right here. This could work. So we need, we're going to make a two tile pen. So we need stone. Uh, rock shards and we'll start with that and of course I can't walk <laughs> okay let's just do this to make it easier back this up and if you want to get off on a, a certain tile like that one let's see if it works you if I remember correctly you just right click on that tile and there you go you get teleported to that tile. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. I believe we need our mallet. Which is here. And you go over here. You right mouse click on the border. Go to fence. And then you go down to stone. And. Build a low. Uh, build low wall. There we go. And then you add it. Whoop, whoop. Hang on. I just clicked on continue. You either click on continue or you can do it this way. Which is a lot easier. Oh wait, I think I need m my mallet for the wall. There we go. A lot easier. And how many does it take? I believe it takes 10 per wall. Normally, I would put a uh, fence gate here, then another fence uh, fence gate there, because it makes it a lot easier moving the horses around. But seeing that there's a hill here, we'll just do it this way. I'll. Uh, See if, how much if we got enough time to make a couple of these. I'll turn up the uh, sound a little. There we go. There we go. That's a low stone wall. And I believe we need more shards. I only got two on me. Another thing you could do is just do this. Go down, make your low wall start you can start them there you go you can put one there and go over and start this one and then uh, you know you could say that you want a fence all the way down you can just like start do the starting ones like this all the way down and then go along and build them as you go See if I can do it from here. Oops. I don't know if I can because sometimes if you're too close to the end, you can't do it. Oh, you can. Nice. Oop, got a little lag. Uh, 
It won't take long. It it usually goes pretty fast. I'm going to make a two tile pen. One here and here. And you can put two horses per pen if you have a two tile pen from what I'm told. Okay, it's almost done. Alright. And seeing we have a couple left over, we can probably start it off over here. Boom. There we go. And we can put one right here. There. Yeah. Okay. And more. What I usually do, believe it or not, is like. For instance, I'll, I'll just show you how I normally would do it. Alright, I would need... I would need 9 for this one. We'll add it here. And you see right here it says 9. It already We already started it, so we won't need no more. So what I used to do is just go over to the tile I'm working on and just drop the pile of shards right there and do another pile here and so on and so on and it makes it a lot easier when you're on the cart and you just drive right along the uh, tiles and you just drop off the pile of rocks you need it makes it a lot easier but see why right here we can just do it this way We should have enough time to at least just make this one. It does take time to make them. But this gives you a general idea on, you know, making pens and such. Alright, we need nine. Oops. No. Uh, we need nine more. I don't even. <coughs> I don't really care about the uh, quality really you can always I believe you can improve them afterwards to make them stronger if you want but I don't think it really matters see this is a 23 and this is a 23 so I don't know if it matters if it's the first one first uh, rock shard you use that determines the strength or the last or if it even matters I don't know I don't know if it will make it see my carts right there oh we'll find out maybe I should back my cart up before I finish just to be on the safe side. There we go. Got two left. Oh, there we go. Uh, I think nine more. Actually, I'll take eight more. I think that should be good. And finish this one up. Takes nine total. As far as the hedges, from what I'm told, it can take a couple of days before these get up the, I guess, uh, high height. Because I guess it's like, 
it starts out with low, medium, and then high. And I guess it takes a couple days for, for these to grow up and be tall. It's the first time I ever planted them, so I'm curious myself. Hope they look nice. It's great if you don't want people to come in on your deed when you're trying to, you know, work on your deed or make things. Alright, this should be it. There we go. Alright. Now, we need to make a fi iron fence gate. So, let's back this up a little bit. Um, I need... I think I need... Well, it will take... Let's see... Okay. Okay. Alright, Iron Fence Gate. Yep. We need ten bricks. And a mallet. Okay, so grab five more bricks. We got ten bricks. Let's make a oh wait, I might still need okay, let's try this for the hell of it. Oh, let's see if I need to have the iron uh gate in in, in my inventory. Because I don't know if I will. It might say I need it. Fence, go down to, okay. Click the border. Right click the border. Go to fence, go to iron, and you want not high. You want to build iron fence gate. A high high fence gate is very high. Okay, this is what this looks like when it, it when you're making it. That's all it is. Now you add it to your crafting window. And this shows what you need. You need your stone brick and your fence uh, fence bars. We'll add the fence bars after we put the bricks on. And you can add locks to these too if you want. It's good if you're if you don't have a fence around your deed, and you know you need to run for cover from a troll. Always remember to put a lock on. Remember not to stand too close because it won't finish. After this, we can move the horse, the uh, female horse over here, and I can finish leveling out that area, and then put this uh, hedges down. Okay. Well, uh, grab the iron fence bars. Let's start with 23 for the hell of it. Okay. This should be it. There you go. There you go. Now that is a two tile pen right there. And we just keep adding more and more as we go down. Now, let's go grab the female horse so we can bring her over to a new home. And, and she is old enough to breed, so maybe we can get her a breed. Or she should, let's see, is she... Nope, she's still adolescent, so... Maybe we can grab the grass. Nope. <laughs> I think I don't have enough inventory space to grab all that grass so there we go all right let's grab her okay come on girl come on and we'll bring her over here there she comes now this is going to be fun trying to put her in here i'll have to do the uh maneuver around the ooh, leg maneuver around like I did the last time. Alright, 
Let's see if I can get her in here. Come on. Maybe I won't have to. Ah, there she goes. Perfect. Okay, and here's your grass. I'll get the rest of the other grass. And where I oh there it is. There we go. And we'll put this in here for her. So that way see this is still dirt, so this is this is grass, so this should fill up with grass also. And let's see if she's old enough to I think she's old enough to breed, so let's try and find out. I don't know if I have to be on the ground for this, but what the heck, right? And breed. What plan? Let's close this. There she goes, right down here. She's breeding. And you might see cute little things up here. See right here, it says the horses are getting intimate. <laughs> it's kind of cute. And it will tell you if she shied away or if she's pregnant. Let's see. Let's hope she gets uh, pregnant. No. Nah. Right here. She shied away. We'll give her some time. And we'll try it again and see later on if she... Oh, oh, oh sorry horse. I'll have to... Stop bleeding. I'll have to fix that in a second. No, nope, maybe not. There we go. I mean, she she looks fine. She'll be alright in there. You can get two horses in there with no problem. If you put more horses in one area, you're liable to get disease. Or, they, well, they're liable to get diseases. So, there we go. Our first horse pen. And we have hedges. Going to be all the way around. Not bad. So, there we go, people. And also, uh, this fence right here, this iron fence, is going to be put up here, too. See, right now, I'll show you. Right now, anybody can walk in here. Because, look, you can walk right through these because they haven't grown up yet. But when they get, I believe, uh, I think it's medium height and tall height, or high height, uh, nobody could walk through them. But they're, right now they're just like starting out, so anybody can walk through them. So no sense in really putting a fence gate up right now, but I will as I go. I, I'm curious to see how long it takes for them to grow. But, yep, yeah, now to work on that area over there, flatten it out. And soon, grass will... See, grass is already starting to grow. So it shouldn't take too long for the rest of this to grow all grass. And then we can figure out what we want to do for buildings. Well, there you have it. Beginning of the deed. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And maybe learn something new I don't know some of you probably already know all this but there's some people out there that are curious and maybe like to see somebody or s other people in videos go more into details about things or as details it, as we can get without making it boring <laughs> so well I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, thanks for stopping by I'll see you all later bye